Now, your album was uh, Floodman, was produced yeah. by Jim Steinman, who he also did a worked... track and a half. Yes, this corrosion, didn't he? Uh, he did Meatloaf. What was it like working with him? It was brilliant. He's really sweet, really articulate, really art intelligent. Uh, one of the, one of the few people in this business that can really hold their own on Eldridge Boulevard. <laughs> he was great to work with. He's a totally excessive little man. Uh, I always imagined he somehow looked a bit like Meatloaf. But he, he does. He does. He looks like Meatloaf's <laughs> older, <laughs> more responsible brother. <laughs> you didn't get to meet Meatloaf at any point. No, no. He, he's away trying to trying to write some songs. Bless him. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you my patented Barbie question. This is probably going to be a bit interesting. Now, what color are your knickers that you're wearing at the moment? I'm not wearing any. Oh, got these rock stars. You see a lot of them. They're not wearing knickers. What does your mother think? What about you, Patricia? Take a guess. Black. <laughs> Same here. Same here. And I also wear, you, you're sort of affecting a very inter interesting fashion choice by wearing two pairs of pants. Why? Well, the flies aren't done up on the bottom pair. They don't do up. Right. I'd, be, I'd have been arrested on the way here if I'd just worn the bottom pair. Uh -huh. Similarly, if I'd just worn the top pair. Yes. So, two together. It looks good. Yeah, on Eldritch Boulevard, one pair of trousers is a criminal offence. When we get back, I'll ask you about Eldritch Boulevard. But now, let's watch this corrosion by Sisters of Mercy. Yes, please.
Mercy and this corrosion, that looked extremely uncomfortable to film, was it? Yes, very much. It, we wanted that corroded feel and we got it. Yeah. Wasn't it kind of sort of dangerous with all the um, electrical gear? I mean... <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. If we're going to suffer, everybody else is going to suffer. Oh, God, yes, I did a gig like that once. Uh, sort of sparks and water everywhere. It was not a comfortable feeling. It looks wonderful. Now, if you had anything you wanted to take, your favorite possession into the bunker, if there was a nuclear holocaust, what would you take, Patricia? Of all time, your favorite possession. Nothing. Come on. Nothing. I'd Nothing? want it to go. Oh. Wouldn't want to keep it. And what about you? Yeah, I don't believe in rush, rushing for the bunker. I'm one of these stand in the middle of the road people and go with everybody else. But I, if Joanna Lumley was available, <laughs> she'd be in my bunker. <laughs> Okay, I like that. What about Eldridge Avenue? What is Eldridge, Eldridge Avenue? Eldridge Boulevard. It's yeah. close to the planet Morrison. Oh, oh, I see. Because yeah. your last name is Eldridge. I want to point that out to the viewers. Not Boulevard. Yes. No, no. <laughs> right. Okay, now we're going to be looking at your next video here called Dominion. Yeah, the new one. The new one. Fabulous. Any exciting bits in that? that we oh, should tons. Keep it right? Tons. Lawrence of Arabia, part two. Lawrence of Arabia, part two. So let's watch The Sisters of Mercy and Dominion.
Okay, moving right along. I like that cue card. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And I'm uh, going to do a bit of gossip now about, I'm sure, one of your favorites here, George Michael. He's reported having a slight nervous breakdown of arrangements for his summer tour. Friends say George is so wound up about... about That's easy for you wound, to say. Yes, yeah, easy for me to say. So wound up about it because he does not want to be a has-been. George, you're not a has-been. Anyway, this is George Michael and Father Figure. Thanks a lot.